In this tutorial, I've built a blog grid and a post layout for Divi 5 using the new Loop Builder, and you can download them for free. I'll show you how to download and install the layouts, and then we'll customize them together with your own images and content. Before we start, let me show you the blog grid first. It's a tile style grid with the date in the top left corner. I've styled this as a big day number with the month below it. We have a featured image, a category, and the title below. Then there's a read more button. And at the bottom, we have our author box showing who wrote the post. You can customize or remove any of these elements. And this is the post page layout. A full width featured image at the top, the author box in the left column, and in the right column, the post content with a comment box at the bottom. To get the free layouts, go to my website. If you already have an account, log in. If not, quickly create a free account. Once you're logged in, click on the free membership section where you'll find all my free resources. Scroll until you see the Divi 5 blog grid with post layout. Then download the zip file. After downloading, unzip it. Inside, you'll find the JSON file will import into Divi. In your WordPress dashboard, go to Divi and open the Divi library. Click the Import and Export button. Switch to the Import tab and select the JSON file you just downloaded. Import the file and you should see the layouts appear in your library. I've created some dummy posts for the content. Each post has a title, body content, a featured image, and a category, just the basics. Keep in mind that when you create a new post, choose Use Default Editor. Let's start by importing the blog grid layout. Go to a page and click Edit with Divi. Add a new section, switch to the Add from Library tab, choose Divi 5 blog grid and click Use this section. You'll see the grid layout, but the fields are empty. We need to assign the dynamic content for each element. First, set the loop. Open the row and then the column. If you want the whole tile to be a link, add the loop link under column link URL. Click the Insert Dynamic Content icon and choose Loop Link so the entire tile links to the post. Open the Loop tab and set the query type to Post Type and set the Post Type to Post. Here you can set the number of visible posts. By default, this is 10. To click on elements more easily, I'll sometimes switch to wireframe view, so you'll see me toggle that from time to time. Click on the top group module. Go to the background tab, switch to the background image tab, click the insert dynamic content icon, and set this to loop featured image. Now all featured images should appear. Next, let's set our date. I'm using two separate text modules, one for the day number and one for the month. Open the top one, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Loop Publish Date, set date format to Custom, and enter a single lowercase d. Apply those settings. For the month, open the other text module, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Loop Publish Date, set date format to Custom, and enter a capital M. Apply those settings. You'll now see the correct dates for all posts. Continue by opening the text module in the middle group module for the category. Click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Loop Post Terms, and Apply. Then open the Heading module for the post titles, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Loop Post Title, and Apply. Open the Button module and link it to the post by clicking the Insert Dynamic Content icon in the Button Link URL field. Choose Loop Link, and Apply. Most fields are populated now. We just need to set the author. You might notice the heading font looks different from the demo. That's because the demo site has global styles set in Divi under Theme Customizer, while this site is fresh. The layout will take on your website styles. You can change that in Theme Customizer or directly in the heading module. Let's set up the author box. Open the blurb module. Under title, click the insert dynamic content icon, choose loop author and apply. In the Image tab, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Author Profile Picture, and Apply. Finally, set pagination for the blog. Open the pagination module and set Target Loop to Custom Blog Loop. The pagination will only show when there are more posts than the visible amount. 
I've left it at the default of 10, and my demo has 6 posts, so you won't see pagination yet on the front end. Once you have more than 10 posts, it will appear automatically. Now let's set up the post layout. Go to Divi, then Theme Builder. Click Add New Template, then Build New Template. Assign it to All Posts, and click Create Template. Save Changes. Click Add Custom Body, then Add from Library. Go to Your Saved Layouts, choose Divi 5 Post, click Use This Layout, Save Changes, and open the custom body. Open the top text module, and under Text, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Post Categories, and Apply. Open the Blurb module. Under Title, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Post Author, and Apply. Under Content, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Author Bio, and Apply. In the Image tab, click the Insert Dynamic Content icon, choose Author Profile Picture, and Apply. Click Save, then Exit, and Save Changes again. Your post page is now active. If you don't see an author bio, go to Users and then All Users. Add a bio under Biographical Info and set a profile picture there as well. You now have a clean blog grid with Divi5's Loop Builder and a matching post layout ready for real content. Download the free layouts from my site, import the JSON into your Divi library, and plug in your own images, categories, and copy. If this helped, give the video a like so others can find it, and subscribe for more Divi 5 tutorials and free resources. Drop your questions in the comments and tell me what you want to build next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.